Hi everyone, welcome to this shopping video and this one is a little special because I did graduate university so this was kind of a treat yourself moment so I kind of just bought whatever I saw, looked interesting, looked cool, looked fun, I've heard people talk about. So yeah, I'll take you around the stores and then the haul will be afterwards. Okay, so I'm back and we have a chunky haul for y'all. I'll go by the stores that I got these at. So the first stop, I did go to Kinokuniya and this is probably the first time I've gone in there and not picked up anything Yamamushi Petal. They only had the four most recent volumes and I'm trying to stick to just collecting spare bike right now. So I wasn't that tempted, but I did pick up a few things. So I did get Sasaki and Miyano volume two. I did say that it wasn't my favorite thing ever when I read volume one. But I decided to give this another shot because this has such high reviews on Mal and it's getting an anime as well. So I figured I'll give it another volume to see if I like it or not. And then next I got the first two omnibuses of Sweet Blue Flowers or Oihana. I actually have read this manga. I've seen the anime. And to be honest, it is not my favorite thing ever, but I did read it like four years ago. So I feel like my opinion might change if I reread this. Plus I love this mangaka. They also did Wandering Sun and another series that I have in here later in the haul. Also, since I read this scanned, I figured I might as well support the artist and pick up the physical volumes. So yeah, that's why I have these two. I think there's four omnibuses and they're a little expensive. I did cough up a pretty penny for these, but you know what? I just went into the mindset of just get what you want. Think about the consequences later. Don't look at your bank account, <laughs> which don't do that. That's a bad strategy. But yeah, that's what I got at Kino Kuniya. So next, moving on, I went to Half Price Books. These picks are going to be kind of surprising, but I did get the first volume of One Piece. I've been debating whether I want to start One Piece or not. I'm probably going to continue with this digitally, but I saw the first volume there and it's like the gold foil one. I think this is like one of the first editions or something like that. So I picked it up. It was a little expensive. It was not half price. You lied half price books, but anyways, happy to have this. If I like this, I will continue the series, but that's what I got for that. 
And then another surprising pick, I did get volumes 1 and 2 of Inuyasha. I'm going to give these to my best friend if she wants some. But if not, maybe I'll read them myself. I know these yellow versions are a little hard to get though, so I would have to continue with like the omnibuses. But I saw these for half price and decided to give them a chance. And then next, I did go to like three Barnes & Nobles to see what certain stores had. And <laughs> at the first store, I spent like $200 and the cashier was like, you might as well get the membership for Barnes & Noble because it'll be free with how much you're saving. So... I ended up getting that and a lot of manga. So first, let's start with one of the series I got. I got Hinamatsuri volumes 1, 2, 3, 5, and 6. They had volume 4, but it was a little beat up, so I skipped out on that. And volume 1 was 20% off for some reason. But yeah, this series has a hilarious anime. I have seen it, and I immediately wanted to pick up the manga. So it's about this girl who's kind of an alien who lands on Earth, and this guy who is like in the Yakuza, he's like a super tough guy, and he ends up having to take care of her. So it's kind of like a found family, father-daughter type of thing, but they're not related. Super funny, super wholesome. It's just like my kind of humor, this like gag humor, like Araka Under the Bridge, Gintama, that kind of humor. And I think humor is very subjective, so that's why I hesitate to recommend comedy manga, because like something I might find hilarious, people might find stupid. So in my head, this was a really good anime, so I'm excited to read the manga. And then I got a good stack of volume ones. I don't know why I did this to myself, because some of these series are really long, but I literally just grabbed anything remotely that caught my eye. So first off, we have I Think Our Son Is Gay. This is a new title and it's still June, it's Pride Month, so I figured I'd pick this up. It was 20% off and I believe it is about a mother navigating having a gay son, but he hasn't like come out to her and I think the dad is like homophobic or something like that. So I think I'll really like this. I also have been liking Square Enix lately for the English publications. Good stuff. And then I got Omnibus 1 of High School Debut. This is by the same author as my love story, so I've been really interested in this. I think it's only like a 15 volume series and these omnibuses are fairly cheap, so I decided to pick it up. I think it's just about this girl who starts high school and she wants to get a boyfriend or something like that, but she's kind of like a tomboy-ish type and he's like the popular guy. Very basic trope, but I've heard that this is pretty funny and not super basic shoujo, so I'm excited to start this. And then another shoujo title, I got Hatsuharu Volume 1. This is a shoujo from the male's perspective. I think he's like a popular guy. The girl is a shy nobody type thing. But I have been interested in this. A couple of people have told me it's really good and I've heard that it's also really bad. So I wanted to find out for myself. So I got volume one. And then another shoujo that I've been <laughs> recommended so much, but I've been hesitant to pick it up because it's like 30 plus volumes. And yeah, so I got Yuna of the Dawn volume one. This was the only one I could find. And then they had like the later volumes, like 28 through 30 at all the stores. But I feel like it is going to be a little difficult to collect this. So if I really like this first volume, We'll see if I can scrounge up the rest, but for now I have volume 1. And then I have volume 1 of Deadman Wonderland. I've been super interested in this series. I think mainly because of short rest manga, Sarah. She has talked about this a bit, but I haven't seen the anime for this or anything. But the concept seems like something I would like, so I saw volume 1 and I picked it up. And then this one, ooh. This one is a little... Okay, <laughs> even though we're adults, this is by the Wandering Sun mangaka and Sweet Blue Flowers. But this is a adult yuri where one of them is married and she's cheating on her husband so you know what this is probably one of the first like problematic manga i've hauled on my channel but it's by one of my favorite mangakas so i decided to get the first volume i saw that volume two is already out so we'll see oh yeah it has um their credentials right here but yeah i'll let y'all know what i think of this continuing with the volume ones we got beast complex volume one i had been so hesitant to pick a beast complex because i love beast stars but this was just never intrigued me enough to get it but I've like really been loving these stars lately, so I just took the plunge. I was like, I'm gonna like this probably, so I picked it up. And I saw volume two in Hinokuniya in Japanese, so I know that there's gonna be more of these. And then we got the first volume of Barakamon. I'm shooting myself in the foot with this one because I know it's going out of print. But I love the anime for this, never read the manga, and I know it's gonna be a pain to get some volumes, but they had volume one for some reason on sale, so I picked it up. And then this is probably one of the things I'm most excited for in this haul, Boys Run the Riot. This is about a trans man running a fashion brand, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, I've been really excited for this ever since like it was announced to be licensed. I think Shea Geeks Out talked about this a couple times and I was like immediately interested. So I'm happy that I picked it up. I believe there's four volumes in this, so it's not too long, the series. And then oof. Okay, this is so funny. This is the, my first wrapped manga. Um, I've heard Prof Utaku say good things about this and you know what? It sounds interesting. It's about a girl who likes cosplay and a guy who likes to sew and they form a partnership. 
but I was watching a manga haul recently. I think the channel name was Twerk Knife. I'll link them in the card. And they said every time they pulled out like an etchy manga, they called it research materials. So that's what I'm going to call this. This this is research materials right here. I'm actually excited to read this. I've been eyeing this for so long, but I decided only to get volume one for now. Okay, next I got Omnibus One of Monster. Yes, I've been searching for Monster and Pluto and I cannot find them anywhere and I saw this on like the return cart you know like when you're walking around Barnes and Noble they have those carts and I snagged this so fast I don't know how long it'll take me to get the other volumes but I'm super excited to read this I know it's about like a doctor who gets accused of murder and I'm really interested in mysteries and medical dramas etc so I think I will really like this and then some more volume ones we got Full Metal Alchemist yes oh my gosh after I posted the video where I was talking about Arslan all my comments were like read Full Metal Alchemist so I was like you know what okay Fine, you got me. I got volume one. Could not find two and three at any of the stores, but I did get volume one and I'm really excited to read this. I did try to watch the anime a long, long time ago, but I think I just didn't have enough time to sit down and read it all, so I dropped it, but I've been so impressed with Arkal's works lately, so I think I will like this. I'm excited to start it. And then another volume one, Life Lessons with Uramichi Onisan. This is about like a super pessimistic guy who works on like a kid's TV show. I think it's like Blue's Clues type of situation. I've heard a lot of people saying good things about this and it is getting an anime so I decided to pick up the first omnibus. Excited to read this. We're almost done y'all. Okay and then I got the full brick of Paradise Kiss. I had been trying to avoid getting this version. I really wanted to get the singles but people started scalping them and I only had volume one so I decided to sell it and just get this. I have read Paradise Kiss. I have watched it. I love it. I just never owned it myself and I'm excited to have this now. I will reread it sometime in the future. I'm a little daunted with this format, but you know, we're gonna get through it and I'm just excited to have this. Oh, I just really hate the spine. This is so ugly to me. What is the this pattern called? Argyle? Argyle? Something like that? Like those sweater vest type materials? Oh, I hate it so much. And this series is about fashion. Why? But anyways, I'm excited to reread this and have it. And then I got Chainsaw Man Volume 5 because I was trying to get them one by one in order and now volume 4 is nowhere to be found so I just picked up volume 5 in the meantime. If I don't like it, I can sell it, whatever. But at least I have this because I bet when volume 6 comes out, 5 is gonna go out of stock, so yeah. And then I got Omnibus 2 of Kaiji. Yes, I really liked the first volume. I was searching around for volume 2 and I saw it at the store, so I picked it up. I think volume 3 is slated to come out in August or something like that. So yeah, excited for this. And then I got volume 30 of Kimi ni Todoke. I've never seen this in a bookstore in person. And I've been trying to go kind of in order, like getting the first 10 and then 20 and then 30, but I just picked this up randomly. I saw this. It was the only volume they had, so yeah, this was the last volume as well. And then lastly, from Barnes & Noble, I actually got a book, like a real book. I don't think I've read a book since high school, so that was like four or five years ago. I want to try reading some more books, and I know this is what the manga by Genji Ito is based off of, and there's another manga of it. I'm excited to read this. We'll see how it goes. And then lastly, I went to a local comic book store and I picked up these volumes of Aisho 21. Kind of ironic because I just got volume 3 from Tony's manga and I went in there and I saw it and I was like, dang. So I did buy this for retail and hopefully I can help someone else out with getting this. And then they had volume 14 so I just picked that up as well. Always want to support local businesses even though the employee was kind of rude to me but we're not going to talk about that. So yeah, that is all I got in this haul. Thank you for watching. And thank you for all the congratulatory messages I got on my Instagram already. So yeah, like I said, thank you for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy, and bye!